and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of the River King 2. Well, in the last episode, we got two new types of rods. We got the trolling rod and the boat rod. Uh, before we can use either of them, I think I need to go buy some flies. Yep. We're gonna need some bait and some flies. So the boat rod uses bait and the, uh, trolling rod uses flies. Although they're called flies, in reality they act more like lures. Also, this is the wrong shop. Whoops. But yeah, even though they are called flies, they work exactly like lures. Except they're a lot more expensive from, uh, from what I remember. Do I even have enough money? Uh, let me see. I want two types of flies in particular. I want the... Squid, and I want the... Where is it? Uh, where's the other one I want? Oh, I think I want the... The Marlin fly? I know I want the squid for sure. Hmm. Yeah, the bee marlin fly I think is the other one I want, or the spearfish fly. Only problem is we don't have enough money for either of them. Uh, for now let's get the young tuna one. And get going. We're gonna go catch some fish just so I can have some money to, to uh, spend. And we get to, uh, get to show off like the two new rods we have. So let's head out back to uh, around the lighthouse. And which rod do I have equipped right now? Trolling rod. Alright, we can show that one off first. Uh, let's equip the young tuna one. I think this will work with these type of fish. Let me see. But I want to get around near the lighthouse first. Uh, should be right up here. Here we go. Alright, so how these uh, rods work. Basically, instead of just throwing them out, we can cast them out. And we can move around with them. So the trolling rod, basically, it's a lore rod. But now that we can move around, we have a lot more control of our rod than usual. However, moving around does cost stamina if you get thirsty. So we don't want to move around too much if we can help it. But yeah, it's a lot easier to adjust these things. Also, it works exactly like a lore. Just get them to bite on and then just reel them in. But yeah, the boat rod works kind of the same way, except there's one... Actually, there is one big difference with that one, but I'll show that off once I actually use it. For the most part, I tend to stick with trolling rods while out in the sea. Mostly because it's a lot easier to catch fish with them, just because we can also move the boat around at the same time. Only problem is you can't really cast it out as far. What you saw there is actually the maximum distance we can cast it out. But it just kind of makes up for it by the fact that we can actually move. Also, that's the reason you can't use these two rods anywhere else except for the ocean and the shore. You don't have a boat. And we can't move the canoe while we are also fishing. Which kind of makes sense, since here we have to, like, row the canoe ourselves. Alright, so anyways, that is the trolling rod. Let's use the boat rod next. So the boat rod uses bait. Uh, I have bait, right? Yes, I do. Let's go with the lugworm for now. Also, I think the fish around here use medium-sized hooks. Never mind, I only have small. Uh, let's see if we can catch one. So anyways, unlike the trolling rod, this one goes out front. And let's cast it out. So, the boat rod is kind of weird. You can only catch cer certain fish can only be caught with the boat rod. Because you see that little number? Uh, pushing B makes it go up and pushing A makes it go down. That is the depth of our fishing ro of our uh, lore. So basically, certain fish will hide in certain di uh, different depths. Usually around five... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, this hook is way too small for uh, Red Sea Breams. I think we need a medium one. I might go grab that in a second. But yeah, certain fish can like to hide out in certain depths. Uh, sometimes you need to go really deep for some of the bigger fish. I will show that off once I actually, you know, go get a hook that will work. I completely forgot to actually buy hook sizes, because certain fish are too big for the small hooks. And certain fish are too small for the large hooks. So basically, sometimes you just have to guess which one will work best. Uh, for the red sea breams, I believe it's the medium sized hooks. Let's go grab some. I think we can actually afford them right now. But from what I remember, they're not that expensive. That is not what I'm looking for. Uh, here we go. Alright, we can buy, like, a couple of medium-sized hooks. 
Oh, no. I don't want boatfish here. Huh. I never noticed that. You get a different message than normal when you use either the trolling rod or the boat rod. Anyways, let's go try to catch something with the boat rod. Uh, let's see. Are we still thirsty? 121. Nope. Landing on land basically got rid of our thirst. Or we could just look up and open our mouths. That would probably also get rid of the thirst. But anyways, let's head out a bit further. Also, I should actually put some bait on. Let's see... I think we're almost there. We'd also do some diving in this area too. So let's see... Also, like the trolling rod, you can't cast out very far. Fortunately, you can move with it though. I believe these guys hang out at like around four, three or four. Let me see. If I go too deep... Oh wait, no. They still go on. Go for it. But yeah, since it's bait, they get hooked immediately. Oh, nope. I guess it is a large hook. Huh. You know what? Let's just keep stick with the trolling rod for now. Oh, I didn't actually equip it. Whoops. I'm good at this. Fortunately, they didn't break the hook. Alright, let's try catching one more then. But yeah, certain fish will only be caught at certain depths. Apparently the red sea bream doesn't really care. Also, I actually pushed A too soon. Whoops. Uh, we're down to our last log worm. If you couldn't tell, I'm not really used to fishing with bait. I tend to stick with lures. And, uh, flies, usually. But mostly lures, because they tend- most fish tend to go for them. Alright, here we go. Alright, are you gonna stay on now? Yes, you are. Good. So let's just catch this guy, and then we'll go sell them. Actually, we could also go diving before we head back. Uh, I don't think the water around here is very deep. We're gonna have to do a bunch of diving in this area anyways to get to all the good stuff. This is the ocean, after all. If we're gonna find anything hidden under the waves, we need to dive. Which is why the flippers are actually a really good, like, investment. Especially for this half of the game. But anyways, let's just get this fish real quick. Hopefully he doesn't put up too much of a fight. Like his young hotel friend did. And then I'll do some diving and then we'll head back to shore. Right now, all I really want is to buy a bunch of the... What are they called again? Uh, a bunch of the flies for the trolling rod. Technically, I think all we need are... I think what we have is all we need for now, but... I kind of want to get that spearfish uh, bait. Or lore. Or fly, I should say. And then the others, I could do without for now. I'll have to buy them eventually if I want to catch every single fish in the game. Because, spoiler alert, for the- basically for the post-game to unlock everything, you need to catch at least one of every fish in the game, and there are like 107. I'm probably gonna be doing most of that off-screen. But it's good to catch fish while we can. Anyways, let's head back. Also, now that I've shown off the fly rod, Let's just switch back to the trolling rod and just stick with it for now. This probably won't be enough though to uh, get another lore. You know what? Let's even get another fish. Actually, you know what? Let's wait till daytime so I can actually see the fish. Any fish in this area? Not really. Although one thing I do like about this rod is I don't have to stand still while moving around. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's go... Actually, no, let's go left and try to catch this one over here. Uh-oh, we're thirsty. Fortunately, we're pretty close to shore. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really want to stay at the inn. Because that's going to cost 30 gold. Which is something we... Honestly... Oh, I forgot to dive, too. I'll just do it near shore. Alright, these guys don't want it. Let's do a bit of diving, then. Oh. I guess we're gonna have to go deeper into the ocean to dive. I thought we could dive around the shore. Huh, guess not. Uh-oh, the ocean kind of glitched out for a second there. Anyways, let's go sell these fish that I have. I probably won't have enough for, uh, what is it? A spearfish more. Almost. I'll do some diving later then. 
You know what, let's just head right back out. Our HP is looking okay. This episode's pretty much just gonna be about catching fish. Not really much about making actual progress. Although we could, what we want to do is actually go down to the lower right corner of the map for the next area. Well, not really the next area, but for the next major plot point. You know what? Let's go do it right now. Why not? We have the stamina for it, I believe. Yes, we do. So what we're looking for... I don't know if any of the NPCs mentioned it yet. But we are basically looking for a sunken ship. Actually, I don't think they do mention it. I think you just kind of have to assume. There it is. You know what? Let's wait till daytime. Just so we can actually see. Okay. The audio kind of went weird there. Anyways, now that we found a sunken ship, let's go diving. Oh, nope. I accidentally pushed A instead of B. Fortunately, I don't think it's that deep down. I think we're actually almost there. Or not. Oh, wait, no, there's a floor. Uh, but I think I dove in a bad spot. Nope, never mind. So, yes, welcome to the sunken ship. They're mermaids, even though they're kind of sitting on dry land for some reason. Well, fine. Alright, she wants some scallop shells in order for information about a strange old man. Okay. Oh, so that's why the mermaids were trying to kill all the, or the sailors. Let's just blame the Sea King. So yeah, sounds like the Sea King is kind of causing trouble with the mermaids. Also, apparently this mermaid's name is Doll. You know what will really make your atonement? Giving me some free scallop shells so I don't have to go diving for them? Alright, but yeah, in order to progress, we're gonna need to bring her two scallops. Scallops are, I believe they're like right south of the lighthouse. Let's just head over there right now. Uh, do you have the stamina to keep diving for them though? Hmm. I might just keep diving until I pass out just so I can warp to shore. Also, are we thirsty right now? 84... Nope, we're good. Apparently diving into the sunken ship cured our thirst. So yeah, we want to dive in this area. Honestly, I'm probably just going to sell the first two scallops I find. And I have a bunch of food in my inventory, I believe, so... Uh, once we get two more, we can just go straight to this ship and just eat a few things before going down. But yeah, the flippers make this area so much better. That is not a scallop. Let's go a bit further south. We are looking for scallops. Not any type of scallop, just scallop. Also, what's our stamina like? Uh, 37. We'll probably pass out after this dive. We might not even make it to the bottom of this dive, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, no, I think I see it. Oh, there's the bottom. Oh, no! We're almost there, come on, just go a bit further. Awesome, we got a scale up, and we have 4 HP. Let's just warp back to shore. There we go. Alright, let's... Oh, wait, I actually have to rest, that's right. Oh, well, hopefully these scallops will actually, you know, be worth it. Probably not. Yeah, we're gonna need to make some more money trips just so I can have enough money to pay for my instays. If I really wanted to be cheap, I would just get on the boat and go back to the last area. Unfortunately, that's a really long boat trip, and I would probably pass out along the way. Anyways, let's get rid of these scallops, and whatever the other thing I had was. Uh, 40 gold. I only made 10 gold out of that. You know what? I think I'll probably just grind the money off screen. Right now, let's just go get one second seagull. For now, let's just... Okay. 
That was weird. But anyways, for now, let's just go get two scallops and give them to the mermaid. Just so I don't have to worry about that. I have food with me, right? Oh yeah, I have a ton of food. We'll be fine. We don't really need to worry about running out of HP out there. Alright, so let's go grab two scallops uh, in the same general area. Hopefully we get them right away, just because I can't really afford to go down more than like three times. Without eating something in between. So let me see, I think we're almost there. There we go. Problem with the ocean is it is really easy not to... It's really hard, sorry, to tell where you are in the ocean. Since there's not really a whole lot of landmarks other than floating jellyfish. And they move, so they're kind of a horrible landmark. But anyways, let's just keep going down. What's my HP like? 97? And eh, we should be able to do two dives and then just eat something real quick for the mermaid dive. You would think we would just buy scuba, scuba gear or something, but nope. Alright, so that's one scallop. Let's go for the other one. I could not imagine trying to do this without flippers. Actually, I think I did that as a kid. I had to, like, grind my HP to, like, near 200 to do this. It was not fun. Mostly because as a kid, I didn't realize they were flip what flippers were. I was a very smart child. Anyways, that's two scallops. Let's go. Uh, wait, what was my HP like again? 30? 30. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to eat something if we want to get back down to the mermaids. But still, maybe we can find this old man. I believe one of the villagers actually does mention that the old man was the one who once tried to catch the Sea King. So we should probably find him for advice. Alright, let's dive. Wait, no, let's not dive. Get back to the surface. Let's eat. Uh, let's have an orange. Actually, we're gonna need more than that. Let's have a rice ball. There we go. That should be enough. Alright, now let's dive. I almost tried to dive with, like, 30 HP. 60 should be enough to get to the bottom, though. Let's see, where are we at right now? 39, and I think we're almost there. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, we're okay. We are still fine. There we go. Alright, here are your scallops. Alright. So, he went to the small island off the coast, which is actually the previous map. So, it looks like we're heading back there. I don't think he spawns if you don't, like, talk to the mermaid. Or maybe, I think the island is actually sealed off until you talk to the mermaid. I'm not sure. But I know it's gated off in some way. But anyways, we'll probably do that next time because I need to grind up some money. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of the River King, we're gonna go see this old man and hopefully find out something about the Sea King. So, till then. I don't actually know how to get back to the mainland. I think it's up here. Yep, there it is. Alright, till next time.